guys okay today we are going to be talking about lip balms i decided i'm such a lip balm addict i love them it's winter time our lips are dry i thought i would tell you about my favorite lip balms i was going to do a lip balm collection and favorites but it would have been pretty embarrassing so i picked up my favorites and we will get started i have quite a few but i, I love lip balm i have dry lips all the time they don't really get like flaky they're just they seem parched so I'm like reapplying lip balm consistently throughout the day every day before bed in the morning constantly so I have quite a few my first one that I'm going to mention and this is actually a brand new one I haven't opened yet and it is generic Carmex in the tube I do not like the um, Carmex in the pot I don't know what it is it's probably just so many years of seeing people use it you know how people that use Carmex are like always using Carmex and it's just that scent I don't know I like the vanilla one to me this is a very thick I don't want to say like kind of sticky waxy like it definitely sticks on to your lips it's not one of those really thin oily kind of balms I don't like that I want to go ahead and preface this I don't like general chopstick to me it doesn't seem like it does anything and the balms that are really thin and kind of oily those aren't what I like I like a real thicker balm and this is definitely a thick thick you know stick so I do like this it's at the drugstore it's really cheap another drugstore favorite of mine and I just think you can't beat it is just good old Vaseline lip therapy they have all kinds of varieties. I have a cocoa butter one and the um, rosy one. This is just the general regular one. And I like to put this on my lips at night. To me, I don't know if this is the exact same as regular Vaseline. But I think this is a little less greasy than typical Vaseline. It's just really thick moisturizing coating. It leaves your lips feeling very nice. I'm going to be using a lot of the same descriptions and adjectives in this. Okay, this is something from the drugstore as well. It's the Neosporin Overnight Renewal Therapy, White Petroleum. And this is really odd. I don't use it a lot. I haven't used a whole lot. It is like a cream. But if my lips are feeling extremely, like, really damaged, like, I feel like maybe they really need a lot of help, then I like to use this for a few days and to me this isn't necessarily like a real moisturizing lip product but to me it heals it overnight renewal therapy that's kind of how it is it just really repairs them and brings them back to like being normal lips and then you can use a regular lip balm to put the moisture back into them I hope that helps okay then we're pretty much done with drugstore and we're stepping up to some like more mid-end still not overly expensive by any means this is the co bigelow my favorite night balm it says eight hour overnight recovery and this can be purchased at bath and body works and the sticker says it's 750 i absolutely love this it's a clear balm it's kind of like a I think it has like a minty smell. I think I could be wrong. I've been using my Jack Black a lot lately, so this is kind of taking a back seat. But it definitely has a sweet scent, like vanilla, agave, like it almost has a sweetener. And to me, shea butter 5%. It's really, really thick, but I will use it during the day. But if you want something that is really just super thick, super moisturizing, something you can use at night and be moisturizing enough, I have no problem using it during the day. I like to use this one. It is a really good one. The only thing is my Bath and Body Works just, they don't really stock a lot of this CO Bigelow. I'm starting to worry that it's going to be really hard to find. Okay, another one, and this is pretty, a recent love, I guess you could say, is the Jack Black Lip Balm. This is the Natural Mint and Shea Butter. I had ordered one from... Ulta and then I had gotten this in like a little Sephora gift bag so I've been using this one instead of opening the um full size and it leaves kind of a matte finish because this is targeted toward men I used to use this back in the day like god I mean over 10 years ago and it's another thick one but not too thick not as thick as the Co Bigelow one 
but it's really moisturizing to me. It's very healing. The other one I picked up is just shea butter. I've never used one that wasn't mint, so we'll see. I can't speak about that one and tell you, so I've only ever used the mint. I think when I used it back in the day, they only had like one flavor too, so my husband doesn't mind using this either because it's not glossy. A lot of lip balms have a little bit of a glossy hint. Okay, this one I picked up this year after hearing so many people talk about it. It's the Malin and Goetz Lip Moisturizer. And this one is a little bit of a different consistency. It's thick, but it's really like jelly. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about. It's not like a balm and it's not waxy. It's kind of like gel, jelly. I don't know how to describe it. It is really moisturizing. I like this one a lot. I like all of these or they wouldn't be my favorites. It says it's a daily protection, soothing treatment, fatty acid absorption technology. It's just really good. It's a lot different. This one has more shine and gloss. It's not so sticky and thick. So if you don't like some of these for that reason, I think you would like this one. Okay. And then last but not least, three of my more high-end ones, which this one actually isn't high-end. I'll go ahead and talk about this. I haven't used this a lot, but it is the brand... Albeit, A-L-B-E-I-T, Nourishing Rose Lip Balm. And it's a very, very pretty packaging. I got this from Anthropology. I think it was like $10. And I decided to try this to compare it to my Dior Creme de Rose. And it definitely has a pink tint. So if you're shopping for a man, this is not the one. It has a little bit of a rose hint. And I like this one. It's soft. That's a good way to describe the lip balm. It's not like a thick, sticky one. It's kind of a soft texture. I do like it. And I'll, the reason I'm featuring this is because I wanted to say, if you don't want to spend the money on the Dior Creme de Rose, this isn't necessarily a dupe, but try this one. And it may kind of satisfy that little urge to try that. It's very beautiful. And it leaves a nice, pretty pink tint. It moisturizes your lips. Kind of has a rose tint. So I guess I'll go ahead and talk about it next. This is the Dior Creme de Rose. This is empty. Well, it's done with the Dior. I actually depotted my uh, Bite Agave lip mask into this. But this is so nice. I know so many people talk about it on YouTube. It probably seem like overhyped. But it's soft. Not quite as soft as that one. It has a little bit of a softer baby pink tint. But it is just so soothing. It's like a lip cream. It's not overly thick and sticky, but it's one you can just smooth on your lips and it just really, it feels so nice. Now if your lips are crazy dehydrated and parched, I don't think the Dior Creme de Rose will necessarily be enough. I think what, it's nice to keep them like, oh, it's nice to keep them hydrated and to keep them moisturized, but if you need something to really get them back into shape, I think you need something like the Neosporin or the overnight lip balm. Those are the ones that are really gonna like bring your lips back feeling good. Heck, even the Vaseline. Okay, and then last but not least, this is the Nooks Rev de Mel lip balm. And it is, if you can see, it is such, it is like a thick, pasty consistency. That's a good way to word it. I do love this lip balm. It's kind of like a citrusy, honey maybe maybe more citrusy and it is definitely like pasty I like to use this one at night I mean I would use it during the day because I mean if I need my lips to be moisturized then I don't really care if I have color on them it does leave kind of a matte finish as well this and I think the dark black are the only true matte ones but I like to put something a little more thin and moisturizing on underneath this because this to me is like a true protectant. Say I wanted to put some of the Jack Black on first to really like moisturize the lips and then slap this on on top and it will really do wonders. This, I mean, it is moisturizing on its own and it's one of those that when you wake up in the morning, you pretty much still have it on your lips because it is very, very thick. But I do like to put something on underneath it to really get the moisture. And then this does like double duty and kind of locks it in. And is like a protectant and keeps it really hydrated. So anyways, I feel like I've talked about lip balm 
for forever and I feel like I have used every adjective in the world to try to describe those. I hope you at least got something out of it and it wasn't just like, goodness lady, you could have used one lip balm, but I don't know. I love lip balm. I have so many favorites. I have so many more that I didn't even mention that I do love. Um, so anyways, I just thought it would be a fun video to share because I actually have seen some people do these and I really like these videos as well. So that is all. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.